love the sounds and the smells beautiful. of the kitchen beautiful. when our cooking confidence coach, Nanny Bubby, is in studio. Thanks to Chapman Automotive, the sponsors of this segment. Now, today, we're learning how to make braised chicken thighs and hatch chilies. Hatch chilies. So these are the beautiful hatch chilies. Mm -hmm. And the hatch chili season is just everybody's... It gets so excited about it because it's such a short season, the middle of August to the middle of September, Labor Day being the middle of it all. And it's like in the Southwest, it's hatch chilies, very similar to yeah. pumpkin spice for the rest of the country. And so we'll get into a little bit more about that. But first, I want to get you started on the recipe. Absolutely. We'll talk more about the, the uh, hatch chilies in just a minute. So these are the hatch um, thighs, and we started them with salt, pepper, and a little bit of smoked paprika. We're going to put them down, skin side down, and what we want to do is get a nice even sear on them. And this is how you do it. Do you know how you do it? No, I want to okay, know. Okay, this is how you do it. We're going to take our Chapman pot right here, and then we're going to take it and put it right down on the top of these sides. Okay. And that way you're squishing them down, the skin is getting flat, the weight is making them flat, and you're going to end up with a beautiful, nice, even sear just like this. So see that? That see is the skin? Isn't that great? Okay, so before we move on to the rest of the recipe, let me just tell you, uh, hatch chilies are known for one really amazing thing is it's the only chili that gives you um, mild, medium, hot, and extra hot as part of the hatch chilies. And do you know how to tell the difference? I don't, and I want to know. You look at the package, and right on the package, <laughs> it'll say mild, medium, hot, or extra hot, and that's the only way to tell. They grow them that way, they package them, and that way you know. They come from New Mexico, and they're grown only in the Hatch Valley of New Mexico. So can you only get them during this window? Yep. Yep. Just Otherwise, the rest of the year, you're out of luck. Rest of the year. That's okay. why it's such a big deal. Okay, that's like that's pumpkins cool. don't come along until And when the fall. does this season end? Uh, September 15th, okay. around there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here we've sweated these onions. And by sweated, you mean what? I mean that we put salt on them and we let them become translucent. Okay. They're brown because the chicken, so we braised the chicken, pulled it out or browned it, 12 minutes on the skin side. Uh, five minutes on the back side. Okay. Then we sweat the onions in the chicken fat and uh, a little bit of butter. And how long does that process take? Uh, I would say about six minutes, seven minutes until the onions are translucent. We added garlic and we're adding these beautiful hatch chilies that we roasted and peeled and seeded. Did you get mild or hot? Uh, this is all mild because okay. who knows what you might be tasting at the end of this. I didn't want to scare you. Okay. And all right. So after that's done, you're going to take these uh, thighs and stick them right back on top like this and then you're going to add chicken stock right up to half of the pot and you're going to let it simmer just like this now the one thing that I want to tell you is that I can't tell you how much chicken stock to put in just put it up to the middle of the thighs okay. and let it simmer and as you move over here you can see that these are simmering beautifully I will Hold them up so oh, you get a yeah. nice, beautiful shot. That is and beautiful. see, that's them braised, finished, and a little bit of um, basil at the very end. Now, we talked about these being mild, uh -huh. medium, hot, and extra hot. That makes them very kid friendly mm -hmm. because we have a kid friendly recipe surprise just for you to try because okay. I didn't think you wanted to bite into raw chicken yet because it's okay. not quite right. done. By so the hold way, on here. How long is the simmering process? Uh, I would say about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much for that app. These, my friends, Whoa. because the mild chilies are very kid friendly, these are hatch chili chocolate chip cookies. That's Look at that fascinating. with French sea salt on top. So, if you would like, I they're would really like. hot. They oh, they're hot came right out now? of the oven. Okay. Are they how hot? They are hot. I, I thought hot? you were doing TV. Oven, yeah, no, they really, really I really them. baked them. Yeah. Yes, I really okay. baked them. Okay, let's see I'm what he let does. This cool off a little bit. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, you can find all these recipes on nannybubby.com, Nanny Bubby Instagram or Facebook, or Nanny Bubby YouTube. There you go. What a treat. Yeah. And the chicken smells phenomenal. So, if we all go out, we're going to do what? Spread, Spread love, love like, like butter. butter. And my hands on fire. Yes, like, Check sorry. out Nanny Bubby's kitchen and garden on social media and online at nannybubby.com. There we you also, go. We also want to thank uh, Chapman Automotive for sponsoring this segment. We will be right back.